Hey guys, this is your girl, Alicia Joya. Thank you so much for coming to this YouTube video. I just want you guys know that I'm saying goodbye to this garden here. Um, I am moving my garden to another sim because um, my neighbors have a high amount of active scripts. And it's causing my cocoons and my uh, stuff to explode in Papillon. But I wanted to do a video of this garden before I take this apart. So um, let's take a little look. It's what it looks like in normal view when you're looking around. Um, I'm gonna have to deep prim wherever I'm going. So this is what it looks like. Like so, I'm gonna have to move everything out. Um, I'm gonna have to see what I need to, you know, get rid of, uh, kill, and all that fun stuff. But yeah, I'm moving on to different sim because um, right now it's just too many active scripts. And I want to see if it's really my Papillon garden that's creating that lag. And so far, I just moved my horses and some of my barrels of my um, my Papillon garden. So uh, I get to see you know, which one of these carrots, these carrots have gotten better, which ones I'm keeping, which ones I'm killing, if I even want to keep this layout. Um, so that's exactly what's going on right now. So this is the old. This is going to be the old garden. This is my favorite part of this garden right here is this section. I'm going to miss my layout um, a lot. It took me days. Um, it took me like two, no, four days to get it all situated and laid out. I mean, I have some beautiful things. There's a possibility I may not even need to move it. Ah, oh, looky, one of my stalkers just showed up. You guys get a chance to see my stalkers along with this video. So, oh, and look, they left again. Here, this is my stalkers. So, um, I'm just going to show you guys my stalkers as they plop up. Um, yeah, I, I have a lot of stalkers, so I'm going to show them in the video while I film here. And I have an idea who it is. So, um, well, I actually know who it is. And I know who they're associated with, so I'm not going to let it rob my joy. But yeah, I'm moving um, out of this garden here. We'll take a look at this in mouse view again later, but I want to show you in first person view. So I have the task, the daunting task of moving all of these. Um... Um, I have 5,793 prims left. Um, however, I need to make sure I clear 9,000 or 12,000 prims um, off of here because I'm only going to have 3,000 prims left to work with uh, the auction house. The auction house is staying. Everything is staying like it is. I'm just going to be a little bit more smart on my prims. And my print usage, uh, print allowances, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Um, so I'm taking apart this garden here. This is what it looks like when we're just camming around. I mean, I really will miss this layout because I have chilled out on every single one of these. In fact, I might end up keeping all of this right on over here. And then I'm um, going to miss my layout with all these little glowing things everywhere. My glow shrooms. I have to like rearrange everything in a new place. Um, this is one of my favorite sections of the wall here. I think it's just pretty. I kind of turned my fronds into a, like a bouquet, like a flower arrangement. Nobody's really thought of that. And then I'm going to miss my waterfalls, but the sounds of the water is very soothing, very calming. 
I might just take um, this section, like these gazebos, because I have like my special stuff here. I have like triple traded stuff here, and your color triple traded stuff like that, and with the radiance. So um, the good news is that I'll be able to have more butterflies. I'll be able to breathe my favorite things again without worrying about the cocoons or the seedlings exploding. I'll probably get more mutations that way because of that. I'm going to miss this because this whole area is just like absolutely beautiful. I'm kind of like sad to take it apart. Um, but I am moving to a new sim. It's actually really cute the way that it's shaped. It's shaped like a heart. So, um, but I moved to a homestead. Which is, you know, 5,000 prims for more, but the privacy, no one else coming in on you, um, no more stalkers, um, you know. I was trying to see if I could just take just this section with me, um, the you know, whole build, you know what I mean? Because I have 3,000 uh, something prims left um, available. Um, yeah. So I have about 3,000 something prims available. And, um, so I'm going to miss this build, guys. I really am. But uh, the good news, I get to make something bigger and better. I get to um, just challenge my breeding knowledge and my know-how as, as an auctioneer. So... Um, uh, so I get a chance just to, you know, rearrange everything, see if I really do know what the hell I'm doing with, with papillons, um, by my rearranging of things. So, um, I really will miss this garden, so now we're going to do this in mouse look, um, really quick. I just want to show you what this looks like in mouse look. But I am going to really miss this, uh, build. Um, so it's just going to be a quick little run down. I don't want to be like all too nostalgic about otherwise I won't move. Otherwise I just won't be, you know. Um, I get too sentimental um, sometimes, especially with my builds or when I make a garden. And you're seeing all my stuff, so... I'm gonna miss this, but the nice thing is, another thing is, I get a chance to challenge my creativity. I get a chance to challenge my know-how. I get a chance to challenge myself in every aspect. It's just tearing down all these plants, and I kind of when you reset them by moving, you know, like the wisps, the the magic circles, the terrors, all those get reset when you when you move. But the good thing is that I won't have popping cocoons anymore. So, one last look down. This is for my own record's sake because um, I worked hard for this build. And um, I didn't realize my love for Papillon uh, was so great. So, um, again, we're in mouse look, taking a look around. Ignore that pop up. <laughs> I won't miss that. And then, but the thing I'm going to take for, with me for sure out of this garden is I'm going to take the memor mem memorandum because I did lose all these people in the real world. You know what I mean? Some people were in SL, some people were always in my real life. You know, like my, like the two people in the middle, that was my daughter and that was my late husband. And then my friend on the corner, bottom right, that was my friend as well. And then on the top right, and the, the bottom right and the top left are my real life. And the other one already I met in second life. So, again, in mouse luck here. I'm going to miss climbing this tree and swinging on that swing. I'm going to miss... 
all of this. But the nice thing is I'll, I'll be able to have a different build. I'll be able to have friends over to enjoy the garden without worrying about if someone's trying to freaking stalk me or if anybody's trying to follow me around. Um, I can have friends over without worrying about having to look over my shoulder because that's not how I live. I don't live looking over my shoulder. I don't live in fear. I only live in love and light. That's the only way I choose to live. I don't know, go and, oh, this person's stalking me. I must run and hide over here, you know. No, me, I'm the type is that, you know, there's a way to protect yourself and getting your own private sim and making sure you've got estate rights onto it is the way to protect yourself away from people. Just add people on the ban list and they can't even come or just make it only access only to certain people. And that's exactly what I did. I made it only allowed access to certain people. So I am saying goodbye to this layout of this garden. Um, what I have now on the homestead is actually a little bit more of a tackier version of this right now. I just have some, I just threw down some structures and hope for the best. I'm going to miss, I have to like put all my accessories down first and then, you know, the rest of the layout here. Like I said, my active scripts here was 23,000. And when I started my move, um, it brought it down to like 20,000. And that's still active scripts, you know what I mean? So I don't know if it's this garden. If it is, you know, it's a lot of reneging that I'm going to have to do with my garden. But yeah, I am saying goodbye to this layout, this garden. It's really sad, but it's also reinvigorating as well. Again, I get a chance to challenge my know, my know how. My, my pap, I do auction these guys off. I do have Pappy on only auctions on Mondays and Tuesdays. I do auction, I do auction near uh, five, no, six days a week, you know, in the world for, for multi breed. And sometimes people bring these guys with me and this be a nice little way to challenge my knowledge, my know how. Because I've been doing this for eight years and um, I also get a chance to create on my brand new sim, which I can't. Every time I turn around, I have to stop what I'm doing, you know, document who's stalking me, where they were at. Um, I have to document all this stuff. Um, so um, it just prevents me from doing any creating. And I'm actually really happy when I'm creating. Even when I'm creating my videos for you guys, I'm happy. I'm happy when I'm auctioneering, but I don't like looking over my shoulder. I'm happy when I'm teaching. I'm, I'm just happy when I'm doing something creative and constructive and not destructive. Um, that, that glow shroom right there in the middle, that's my favorite one. Blue and orange. <laughs> orange and yellow, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, um... This is going to be the end of this video. So I'm really going to miss this garden. And um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later on the next video.